Well, good morning this morning. Our scripture is found in Matthew chapter 6, beginning in verse 19, and it goes like this. Lay not up your, for yourself treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up you, for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither uh, moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasures is, there will your heart be also. You know, in baseball, having a good eye means that the batter doesn't swing at bad pitches, only hittable strikes. In life, having a good eye means that our heart's focused on the right things, or better yet, the right one, Jesus. Rather than letting our eyes wander to covet many things that can't bring true happiness, we refuse to swing at any of Satan's pitches, and he throws them. Woo, he throws some curveballs at you sometimes. Focusing on our spiritual sight, our lives on the wrong thing, uh, always leads to the ultimate unhappiness and destruction. Folks, when we uh, take our eyes off of Jesus and we start looking at the things of this old world, it's going to burn up anyhow. Yep. Destruction comes. That kind of sight is never satisfied. The lust of the things of this old world. Uh, but we, we all have an appetite to possess it anyhow. And to acquire and to achieve more and get more degrees and just you name it. You know, an attitude ultimately robs life. It really does. It robs your life of joy and replaces the Father and His kingdom with just trinkets, temporary toys, junk, just junk. We, we've got to keep our eyes on the things of God, seeking things that He has for us, His children, and not the things of this old world that's just going to perish and you know, burn up. No. So I hope uh, this helps someone today. You know, put your eyes on the Lord and not this old stuff up here that we, we have here on planet Earth. No, because it's all going to burn up one of these days anyhow. Or somebody steal it from you. You know what? No one can steal that salvation through Jesus Christ from you. You'd have to give it away, and I don't think you're going to want to do that. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yep, he died on that cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.